really healthy soil looks like this. It looks like moist chocolate cake. You can see all the pore space in there. And the roots are brown. The dirt is just sticking to there. It doesn't even shake off that well. I'm shaking it. And it, the roots are still holding it on. That's because when the microbes are going in and out of plant, they actually excrete a substance that's like glue. They're really bonds to the root. And I'm pulling the dirt off now. It takes a little bit pulled off. And what that does, I don't know if that's going to show up. Each of those feeder roots now have this big, little bee earthworm right here, itty bitty earthworm, uh, more around them. It makes a network. So the root's not moving. So more water, more geography to get more water and more nutrients. And that's the advantage of having beneficial fungus in the soil that really expands that network many, many fold bigger. And microbes that are moving, they're coming and going and they're starved, starved for carbon, the photosynthesis of this part of plant, but they can't get it. So they go in and out of roots down here and that's that economy I'm talking about. They're saying, hey, you need some phosphorus? Man, I'll get you all the phosphorus you want. I just gotta have some carbon. The plant's making more carbon than it needs and that's why this economy works so well. And we interrupt that economy by putting harmful substances like synthetic fertilizer and all the herbicides and everything on the ground. And you may have to wean off. If you've been in a system where, you know, you're putting 500 pounds of triple 10 per acre or something like that, and you go to nothing, that's a weaning process, folks. You may want to cut down to, you know, 50% of that. And then the next year, 25% and wean yourself off. And you can't get this through the camera, but good soils should smell sweet. If it smells really bitter, your soil's not in very good shape. Uh, like really fresh potting soil, really sweet.